Ever since I had that food conversation with Hamid in the car, I've really wanted to cook his soup, that tash reeb soup with gorgeous lamb in it. So he was telling me that he uses dried limes in his recipe, and I've never used these before, but I know that they're definitely from Iraq and they've been dried and salted and they look pretty exciting to me. But it's a good idea to remove the seeds because the seeds are a little bitter. And if you can't find these dried limes, I'm sure preserved lemons would also work. So now I'm just going to slice the onions and he said in thin wedges. Into the bowl. And then garlic. All the best recipes start with onion and garlic. We'll just finely chop that. Right, let's get cooking. Now we start by browning the lamb. So we just add a little bit of olive oil to the pot. So excited about this dish. And then we just brown four four quarter chops of lamb. Now Hamid said you could use any lamb on the bone. He tends to use the shoulder, but I'm using the four quarter chops, which are actually from the shoulder. So it's really quite important to brown the chops because that's going to give the stock a really lovely rich flavour. And chops are done. We're just going to remove them from the pot temporarily. I love the smell of lamb chops. And then we're going to add our onions and garlic and lightly fry until golden. So I'll just give them a little bit of a stir, soaking up all that lovely lamb fat. I can tell I'm already going to love this soup. So these onion wedges are looking beautiful. Gorgeous and brown. Now we're going to add some turmeric, about a teaspoon, and a pinch of cinnamon. Just cook it for about 30 seconds until fragrant, and then in with one litre of chicken stock. And then I'm going to add these lovely little Persian dried limes. In they go to do their magic. A generous spoon of tomato paste. So this is going to give it good colour. Give it a stir. I really love the little segments of onion floating around in there. They're just going to be able to suck them up when you're eating the soup. In goes some potatoes, just nicely diced, and then the lamb goes back into the pot. And then we're just going to slowly cook that over low heat for about one hour. Sprinkle of salt, dash of pepper, on with the lid. I think I'll go and have a little lie down. And the soup is ready. It smells insane. Right, now all we have to do is add some chickpeas, give it a little stir so they can heat up. Now, it's very traditional to serve this dish with bread. So I've got a lovely flat loaf of Iraqi bread here. And I'm just going to tear some off to put in the base of my plate. And we're just going to ladle some of this gorgeous soup in. Oh, and all the meat is falling off the bone. And I think it's OK to serve it with little bits of bone in there because you can suck all the juice out of them. Oh, and this is my kind of soup. There we have it, Hamid's Tashrib soup. I could try a bit of the bread with it. Mmm, gorgeous.